moment in here. Like, I have to have more than five minutes. And if I do, your girl's in here and we're just painting. And I love it so much. <laughs> Happy for Make Life a Runway, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. Ooh, yes, we made it to the end of another week. So I thought I would recap the makeup that we used last week that we picked out together. We'll pick makeup to use for the upcoming week and just explore our makeup collections. So if that sounds like something you like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Y'all, look. This, this is controversial, it comes with risk, but where I work has lifted the mask mandate for staff, and I am not wearing a mask at work. I feel okay about it. I know that still means like there's risks and all that, but it feels good to like smile again and to wear makeup, really wear makeup again, and to really be able to communicate more clearly with people. It's been, Really nice, uh, who knows how long it will last. The mask mandate got lifted like last fall and then we quickly had to bring them back. So we could be in a situation like that, I don't know. But while it's here, I've been living my makeup fantasies. I'm talking like, you know back in 2019 when we used to like glam every single day. I feel like we're getting back there and it feels so good. So this is my makeup for the day and I got so many compliments on it and I think a lot of it, I mean I think it looks cute, but I think a lot of it is because people haven't seen my full face in so long that they're like, oh, okay makeup love that <laughs> so let me go over what we have on today I got ready here in the beauty room today look at us look at us so for foundation I <laughs> I use the conceal and perfect this just wears so well all day long it is evening time what time six fifth 15 ish i put this on this morning around 8 a.m so that's quite a bit of time and i think it still looks good and i had to wear like a mic because i'm a group fitness instructor and personal trainer and a director now of course no i mean i am but you know anyways and i was able to like blend it out pretty well not all foundation some i just have to look a little patchy over there but I really like this and my color is in light and we're going to keep using this for the upcoming week because this is one of my chopping block foundations or maybe it's is it the chopping block or project paint? I think it's chopping block. So I enjoy using it. It's a good color. So we'll just keep this in for the upcoming week. We have three concealers out and I think we'll put one back. The one I wore today is the L'Oreal Infallible. I love this one. This one's in 355 Vanilla. It's just so nice. So we'll keep that one out and we'll keep the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Didn't get around to using this this last week, but it's a Project Pan one. So we'll keep it out and then we'll go ahead and put back the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. This one is in Light Peach. So that's going to go back. Actually, we need to like create a bin of what's going back in the collection. Ooh. Okay, the powder I used to set all of that was the Translucent Number no. 7 a uh, loose powder perfect light so we'll put that back jessica braun just posted a reel of the makeup she's wearing and she showed number seven has a brand new foundation out so i was like okay number seven that's nice i love to see that um and then i did use what did i just do with it oh for under my eyes the pressed version the triple action finishing powder so i did put that underneath my eyes and again i'm really happy with how that all of that looked my bronzer was in my bathroom in my makeup basket express which i do have here because we're going to go through this here uh when we angle and shop the stash we're going to go through this as well so I had to pull a bronzer to use this morning. So of course I used my Tarte Park Avenue Princess. I just think it looks so nice on my skin tone. I absolutely love it, but we'll put that back. And then the blush I'm using is the um, Flower Beauty. This is Prim Rose, one of their flower pots brush it, blushes. And I think it wore really well. I had a full day and we're still looking pretty good. So enjoyed that. We'll put that back in the collection. 
And then my highlighter is the LA Girl Strobing Light. This one is in 110 Watt. So nice. It's still blinding. Like, this is the only one. You know, so, sometimes I layer my highlights. But this is the only one I put on today. And I just think it's so pretty. So I enjoyed that. We'll put it back. Um, I tried this hydrating primer from Jekka Blake. Blake and I did like it. That's what's underneath all of this. So we'll um, put that back. But I didn't get around to using the NYX Marshmallow this time around. So we'll keep this one out. Um, so we have a primer, a foundation, and two concealers that we're leaving out. So we won't have to pull those categories. But we will have to pull some powders, blush, and highlight. And I still have the Halo Glow from e.l.f. that I still haven't used. So actually let me keep this out as a powder. Um... And I might pull a finishing powder, but that will be my loose powder for the week. Um, okay, and then what's on my eyes? I pulled a couple of eye options this week. I pulled the Too Faced Salted Caramel, 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 whatever you say. And then I pulled the Ofra, this guy, the Good To Go um, Mini Max Palette, Mini Mix Palette, sorry. I wanted to use this uh, for eyeshadows, but I was a little scared because I knew I'd have to wear it all day and I haven't played with this yet. So I want to wait and play with this on a day that like I don't have to immediately go to work because these colors are so bright and intense. Um, so we'll leave it out. We'll still pull other products that are in this category, but I do still want to play with that. So I ended up wearing this today. So I have um, this color right here in my crease blended out. And then I have this one on my lid. And that's literally all I did. And I took a little bit of this one like on my bottom lash line, right? Yeah, I think I did a little bit. Maybe not too much. But yeah, that, that's how simple the, the eyeshadow was. This is such a nice palette. These are good quality. I have... Um, these two girls, they're sisters that I train. They like train together and they love makeup like I love makeup. So they're like, what's on your eyes? So I was like pulling up Google to show them these little palettes. Uh, yeah, that was that was a fun moment. Um, all right, so that we pulled. Um, we have some lips and setting sprays and mascara setting out. So I'll show you those at the end. But I think that's everything as far as a recap goes so we're gonna move this back to my collection and then we're also gonna sort through these products as well last week we did pull the elf this is the forever sun kiss and this is a nice bronzer oh oh and then we use this flower beauty one in spice petal so this one's nice as well but, um, I did get some uses out of it so we will go ahead and put that one back so we're going to put this back in my collection. We'll talk about switching out some of these products. And then we'll also pull some makeups just to have in here. Because I do try to get my beauty room a couple of days a week to do my makeup. So it's more of a moment in here. Like I have to have more than five minutes. And if I do, your girl's in here and we're just painting. And I love it so much. But let's get over to the, the stash. Maury's already talking about it. And pick makeup. All right. All right, y'all, a little bit of a different angle today for you, but we are over at my collection. Uh, all right, so as far as highlighters go, I really want to use that one from, <coughs> thank you, Morty, <laughs> from the Ofra palette, but I do still want to have, like, maybe a more, like, subtle one because that one looks pretty intense. So let's grab out this one from Urban Decay. This is a classic in sin. If you know, you know. This has been long discontinued, but it's still good. It still feels nice. Still has lots of pigment in it. If you can see, maybe, maybe. There you go. But it's also very subtle. So I think that will be a nice one to pair alongside of that more intense Ofra one. And just like, okay, let me put away this highlight. All right, we're going to kind of put away products as we pull products. So here are my, some of my blushes, not all of them. But again, there is a blush in that Ofra one, but it looks so intense. Plus, I would like a um, 
blush to pull from my makeup basket express so i'm going to do um let's grab Heart ones are kind of speaking to me down here. Oh, okay. Let me grab. I knew I was kind of hoping I could find this Oprah one. We'll talk about that in a second. And then we have a couple of tart ones that look a little bit more natural. I think I'll go with Shimmer and Shake. So it's like a little sample size of it. Um yeah, that looks really pretty. I haven't used it. This was one of the ones in the mystery box uh, back in January. It's kind of like a peach tone. Oh, that looks really pretty. So we'll pull that to use as a more natural option. And then this one I want to put in my Makeup Basket Express. This one is also from Ofra and it's called Candy Apple. And I have used this previously, but I really enjoyed it so i want to use it again i think it's just such a pretty flush of color and even though it's still technically winter we've been having some beautiful spring weather which inspires me to um to use like more bright colors all right so i'm gonna skip face palettes which are right here because we have that ofra one so i feel good um not using those so i guess we need to go down two eyeshadows okay eyeshadows are on this shelf there are a couple in that Ofra palette but I don't feel like I can get a cohesive look out of that palette so I would like to pull something else and okay Ugh. have not pulled this for a while the Jaclyn Hill original palette it looks like this I think this will be a pretty palette to use for this week um, and I think it would pair well with that Ofra one. And I just haven't used this in so long. And every time I pull it, I feel like this is such a neglected palette in my collection. Um, I know some people who have it, like, where there's out. <laughs> and I don't know why I've never really done that. So we will pull this one up for eyeshadow for the week. All right, so we'll put back my salted caramel palette. Um... What else? So for my Makeup Basket Express, we have um, my Project Pan palette in there, which is the California in a Box by Catrice. So we're good with... <sighs> what are we good with? So I do use the bronzer in there, so I'm okay continuing to use the bronzer, and I use the highlight. So I'm good with that. The blushes I find don't wear super well or sometimes I just don't want that color which is why we grabbed the candy apple from Ofra so that's good as far as eyeshadows I've still been ah, oh my gosh I thought my camera was gonna fall and I just picked up that eyeshadow and it fell oh my gosh we're good we're good we're good okay so let me put it back together so this is um it is a melt stack from um melt <laughs> and i think it's the true oh no it's most of the dark matter stack which is no longer available but this is like my go-to eye for quick makeup days and i don't think i want to switch it so i take the light color right here that is called blur and i run this through my crease basically lid to crease and you can see i'm getting like a dent in there that's how much i use it sorry my dog lily is drinking water then I go in with this darker color, which is called Unseen, and you can see there's a little dip coming in there as well. And with this one, I do just in my crease, and sometimes I'll take it to my lid, but then I'll some days just stop with that and have like a matte eye, or I'll put this little shimmer on top. Ooh, this is Skeleton Kiss from the She's in Party stack. And it just kind of amps the look up. And you can see I'm getting a little dent in there. I have the um, this black one in Dark Matter. I haven't actually used it. But 
I need to get a brush from my collection to put in my basket so that I can use this as liner. That's really what's been holding me up. So I'm good keeping these eyeshadow options. Um, well, now that I say that, I feel like maybe we could have one other option. <laughs> um, now that I feel like we can get a little wilder with our makeup, just feel it. You know, I just feel it. But I still want something small. Um, I still want something pretty easy to work with. Part of me just wants to grab this actually. Like I know that's not exciting. We just grabbed it. But it kind of checks all the boxes. So we'll just go ahead and put the Too Faced Ultra Caramel. It kind of goes kind of often into this basket but I like that I can use that stack and then just maybe grab one of these shimmers or I can do a completed look with this as well so I guess we'll add this in so that's good that's good all right we are gonna move on to the bottom shelf which is palettes bronzers lips you know the rest <laughs> okay so here we are um have a bronzer to put back oh my gosh this goes on the top shelf how did we skip bronzers okay so I need a bronzer to pull out for the week and let's go to this, this classic right here which is the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer and this one is in zero to medium this is a really nice one a really easy one to use um you know i said i didn't want to pull a bronzer but i do for the makeup basket express and the one that i want is right here jessica braun just posted this in that video i was talking about earlier this was the bronzer she used and i was like oh my gosh i like that one too and i haven't really used it recently this is the maybelline city bronzer in 100 so i think this will be nice to throw in my makeup basket express my makeup basket express started being one product per category but i'm kind of in the state where i like having more variety in there so we'll add more variety in there <laughs> uh okay oh and we'll put back this other bronzer back where it goes okay love it forgot to put the blushes away what are we doing here abby get it together get it together okay so as far as powders go i have this press powder from maybelline that was in my makeup basket express for days that i wanted to use this as my powder foundation this one is in 120 <coughs> classic ivory yes momo so we'll put this back so I think I'm just going to stick to my Project Pan foundation because I really do like using it um, and I don't need a powder foundation over it. So we will put this back in my collection and the powder that I've been setting the foundation with, I'm still working through the L'Oreal Infallible, this loose powder. It is such a mess. Like you can see how messy my container is. This one is the 612 Translucent Light Medium. It's because it's such a small container and it just goes everywhere. There isn't actually that much in here, but uh, we're just going to keep using it until it's gone. And then I do have my Banana Bright Finishing Powder uh that i keep and use in there as well so i don't need any powders for that but let's put these back kind of don't have space so we'll sit them on top and we have a loose powder because elf that we'll use in here um but we'll pull we'll go back to this uh huda Glowish. This is such a nice finishing powder. I mean, you can set your makeup. It's a pressed powder, so you can set your makeup with it. Or uh, you can finish your makeup with it. And this one is in 02 Fair Light. So we're going to bring this one back out. Didn't stay away for very long. Um, okay, I'm going to put this primer away. Don't need primers. Still using my Project Pan Primer and my Makeup Basket Express, which is the Revlon Photo Ready. And uh, the foundation I'm using is the uh, CoverGirl True Blend. And as you can see, 
there's not a lot in here it's even lower than it looks on the sides so I do want to go ahead and grab another foundation um, to just have in here and I'm gonna pull from a movie down these are my chopping block foundations for the year and I think the one that I want to continuously use after I finish the CoverGirl is my Dior because you guys know I love using this so much and I don't know how much is in here because you can't see through the sides at all <laughs> but I feel like last time I used it it was getting hard to pump so I don't think there's too terribly much in there but I'm going to move this into my basket so that I already have my backup ready to go and we're still working through the Born This Way concealer. This has so freaking much product in it. I don't know that I'm ever, <laughs> ever going to finish it. Like, I'm starting to scrape the sides, but still a lot comes out. And I can't get the stopper out. I already tried. So once I can't get anything uh, out on the doe foot applicator, it's done. But until then, we are still rocking through that product. So... We have primers. Uh, I think we're pretty good for the makeup. Here you go. The Makeup Basket Express. Um, I have my lip products. The Fruit Butter Lip Mask. We're using uh, the L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. Our brushes are here. We have a Clinique Eyeliner in here. I am enjoying using that. Some of these brushes I need to take out because I don't use like, I need to take this out and put a brush that I prefer for bronzer in, so we'll take that out. Um, I do like a lot of these brushes, but not all of them I'm using. We're going to go ahead and put this in empties, the Voluminous Carbon Black. I did like it, but it transferred so much on me. It was just like a mess. <laughs> Uh, maybe I can get some more life out of it. I don't know, but it was kind of tragic. So we're going to declutter that. I do have a couple lips in here. Okay, pencil. We're using my Chocolate Brownie by Too Faced. Okay, I know you guys like seeing product being used up. But look, this is like all we have left. So many empties are going to be coming out of this bin here soon. Um, okay. I need, I use this when I use my uh, Wonder Brows, so we'll keep that. We're going to put this back. Um, it's a concealer brush that I literally have never used in here. It's been in here for a really long time, and I never grab for it. Um, and then I have, these are the lips I keep in here, the Maybelline 100 Philosopher, the Melted Matte by Too Faced in Cinnamon Bun, and then the Tarte Bare Bud Lipstick are the ones I use in here consistently so we'll leave those in i'm gonna switch out this brow gel this is the saint luke's saint luke's i think saint lux i don't know um brow gel i'm gonna put my my elf wall brow in here i do use this little sample of a uh, bad girl bang bad yeah, Bad Gal Bing by Benefit. This mascara, I really do like it. It wears really well. And I have this Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks. Still haven't used it. I had this sitting out in the beauty room, and then it's been in, that ba in the bathroom for m a month, maybe longer. I don't know what it is about cream products. I guess I feel like I have to set them, so what's the point in using them? That's I think that's like what holds me back a little bit. Um, so we'll put this palette back in. That's kind of how I stack everything in there. Put that in. This, um, these products. Oh, not that. See him trying to sneak back in. And then we're still working through the It Your Skin But Better setting spray. It's a under half, so I don't know how much longer it has, but it's holding on a good fight. So we'll keep that. So that's everything for this basket that we need. We don't need any more blush, bronzer, highlight. We don't need any more primer. Yeah. 
So this is a good place to be. This basket I don't show very often because I do stick to using the same products um, for a while. So you probably won't see it again. That's partly why I wanted to add the other foundation um, in it. But we're good to go here. We'll move on to shopping for the rest of the makeup. Okay, we don't need a setting spray, blush. We don't need primer foundation we're good on all of that lips um let's pull out this this is the tart man eater and this one is in buff and this is a plumping gloss i haven't used it so let's give that some love my lips have been so chapped um so i want something that feels hydrating on them oh and let's play with this dragon beauty this is a i believe a liquid lip what is it yeah, liquid lip and bad bitch. Ooh, she's cute. So we'll pull that to use. Don't need any of these palettes on top. Um, I feel pretty set with concealers. Feel good about the liquids. I didn't use the one I put last time, so I'll work on that. Again, these liquid creams, I'm just not great. Ugh, I don't think I need anything from out of here or another foundation so i think we are in a good space unless i just want to pull something to play with um let's do that this guy right here kind of came to mind the la color this is their contour uh palette and i haven't used this yet y'all know i enjoyed using my makeup revolution one that was the palette we used last year and I got rid of at the end of the year. So let's play with this one a little bit. All right, so we'll put all of this back in here. Lots of fun things to play with. This powder, this highlight we pulled last week, the liquid highlight we pulled last week. Um, I didn't think, oh, oh wait, that might fit in there. Love that. All right, and then here we go. We have the Fenty Mascara still. Lots of lip products here. I'm going to move this Brow Wow to my Makeup Basket Express and switch the clear gel to in here. Add all of this back in. Add the lipsticks that we pulled and that's a wrap. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you've had a wonderful week and subscribe if you're new. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!